should I accept his proposal and have a private wedding with him without my parents or should I wait for someone else? I'm scared. What if he's destined to be my husband? So that's like the first issue and basically she, ha she wants to be anonymous and all. So basically she needs advice and all. So what do you think about this bro? What I just read? What do you think about it? I just feel that, I don't know, maybe the parents gave genuine reasons to why she's not supposed to marry the guy. It's because the guy is not from her state, which is an state. The guy is from Imo, you know, that's the only reason. And basically they are saying that she's supposed to marry from the state. Is, it, like, is that a genuine reason to say your the child is not going to marry? genuine. It's not even genuine enough. Because you cannot say because because you guys are you guys are basically evil now. So for example, now there always there is this stereotype on Anambra guys yeah. that saying that you know me from Anambra and all that. But, but come from someone that's from Imo, I really don't see anything wrong. I don't know maybe. Bro, you're from you Imo. You're from Anambra State. state you know, you're from Anambra. Okay. No, what, no I, I'm from Anambra. Pick a struggle. Okay, where are you so, from? Me? Yes. Where are you from? What state are you from? I'm from Anambra from... State. States live okay. in the area. Okay. Okay. Okay, being from Anambra State, can you get married to another person that is not from Anambra State? Probably a lady that is from Imo State or Imugu or a boy. What is this? I'm going to start with that. The world is already evolving and I cannot, I cannot, I cannot get myself stick to the 90s. I start looking at backgrounds or Are you the first or son? Or something. Are you the first son? Sorry, yeah, I are am. you the first son? I'm the first son. What yeah, if your parents say? No, you can't get married to her because she's not from this particular state. How are you going to handle it? Are you going to go against your ah. parents and be like, okay, I'm not talking to my parents anymore. It's you I want, it's you I love. I'm, I'm going to get married to you privately. For instance, that if my parents cannot give me genuine reasons, you understand? If, if, it's not if, they, are, if, 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 if they are genuine reasons, reason, please. There's something that, there are some reasons that are personal and I cannot, I cannot, uh, I cannot agree to personal reasons. Because you cannot say because mm -hmm. of your reasons are personal to you. It's not personal to me, you understand? If your reasons are not genuine, if you feel that because of what has happened to you, you know, mm. our lives are different. You cannot use what happened to you to me. So if your reasons are personal, I would not even agree. That like that like it all depends. So you are going to have a private with her. They will have to ask you because I'm the only son. No, they cannot. They cannot. They cannot. They cannot bring another son again. I'm the only son, so they have no choice. I probably just prove to them that this person is a very nice. I might just prove to them and have them change their mind. That's what I, I feel. I feel that maybe she should just have them change their mind about this particular person and let them know that, okay, this person you're getting married to, it's not just about, it's not just about where he's from, but it's about how he has made me feel and the things that he has done in my life that's, you know. So Gabriel, it's, it's good to have you back. Gabriel was our winner for last week. While we jump into the conversation, a couple of things you guys should keep at the back of mind. We have this giveaway today. Um, 5k cash and 20 gig data for grabs for the most engaging person. My name is Adi Falami Agumbi Adu. Along with me today, I have the Osato, very, very brainy and like beautiful me. Osato Eboho. <laughs> Eboho. Okay, and um, we're having this particular session because people sent in emails. The Dark Posture is a show that helps young people start things, start new careers, new relationships, and figure out the way the world works. Very, very practical show. And during this show, the physical version for up to about two years. And so over the course of the time in which we run the show, people send in their emails, all right? So we have emails. This is not, these are not fabricated stories. These are true life stories of people who find themselves in a conundrum, okay? And so it's not theoretical. There is somebody watching this particular live stream right now that is listening to the counsel that you will give, okay? And I think we probably should highlight a couple of things in the last um, conversation. This person is saying that she's the very, very first daughter of the family and that she's been dating the guy she, she was in school. She just concluded her NYSC. And upon concluding the NYSC, um, she found out that... Her parents are not going to agree. He wants to marry her, basically, now. Okay, want to spotlight the article. So, he's saying that she's the first daughter of the family and she has this guy she has been dating since she was in school. She just rounded off her NYSC. For those of you who are watching and you're not watching from Nigeria, NYS is National Youth Service Corps. It's a one-year mandatory paramilitary training service that people who graduate university below the age of 30 have to be a part of. And so she, she's been dating this guy. She's been, she, she has been dating her boyfriend since she has been in school. And then her parents are telling her that she cannot marry 
in because he's from Imo State and she's from Anambara State. And because first daughters in Anambara State are the other and they are meant to marry a man close to the paternal side. She says she loves her man so much and she can't say no to him. So the question is this. This is the question. All right. Because I want to draw your attention for everybody who's going to join this live stream and you want to comment and counsel Ada. This is the question. Should she accept his proposal for marriage and have a private wedding with him without her parents? Or should she wait for someone else? Okay. And she wraps it up by saying that she's scared. What if he's destined to be her husband? If you are open and you want to talk, please just type in the comments so that we can, we can highlight you. I think we have Rachel, we have um, Michael, Michael we have Miracle. Okay, so I'm going to bring Rachel in. What, what, what's your counsel? Can you very well now? Yes, yes, we can. We can see you very well. Okay. I believe for this story, it's, in it, it's a decision. It's not a story. This is not a story. Doing... Miracle, this is not a story. This it's, is a real life. It's a real okay. life situation. The person who wrote this is watching the live stream right now. So it's not a story, yes. Okay. So the thing is, it's her decision. The thing is, um, her parents has no right to choose her partner for her because at the end of the day, she would still be the one to bear the consequences of either not having to find another husband or she still has the decision for herself. Nobody has to make any decision for her. Yeah, because at the end of the day, she'll be the one to bear the consequences of either not getting married or not being able to find the right partner. I don't think she should run away from the house. They think if her parents actually love her, they, sh they should be able to accept that decision of getting married to uh, the person she wants, irrespective of the state the person is from. So I believe she has the, the ability to talk to her parents by herself. She alone has the capability to convince her parents that this is the right person for her and everything will be settled by them. Everything still lies on her, the decision making and everything still falls on her because she'll, at the end of the day, she'll be the one to bear the consequences. That's it. That's why she's asking for help. Like She needs practical answers. She needs answers that she can make it. She, she has already thought of it. That's why she came to us like, for opinions and all these things now. Okay, the best thing is to go for the guy. That's okay, so the best that, thing. Go for the guy. So basically, your own opinion, what, you, what you're saying right now, what Miracle is saying right now is that she should go yes. ahead and yeah, marry too. the guy yeah. without the blessings yes, of the Yes, marry the guy. Okay. Yeah. Don't right. worry, the blessings will come. Okay. Sooner we'll, or later. We'll keep, you, we'll, keep you, we'll, keep you in, we'll keep you on the call. All right, so Brel, you're of the opinion that she should also, she should, she should also get married to the guy without the prayers of without the prayers of the parents okay yeah i, I agree but you know i said two things i said if the if the reasons of the parents are very personal to them i don't think you should consider a reason why you should not marry the guy because you cannot use your personal reasons on my own personal life because like me i said she simply really want to get consequences that the parent like it or not so i feel she should agree Okay. Yes, I can hear. So you're saying she should be with the guy, Abby? There is, there is no genuine reason to why uh, she should not. You are saying there is no genuine reason, but I'm telling you that the the parents are saying you are not from this particular state. That's a genuine reason. Do you understand? It's not no, genuine. It's reason. personal. It's personal. Yes, that's the personal reason. I think, I think, okay, not like I'm trying to like bring in any like, but I think the um. I don't know. Should I, the evil culture, I think that's what they basically do. I even thought it was, I, I, I thought it was just, um, okay, don't marry from this tribe. Anybody you want to get married to must be evil too. But I didn't even know that till I, like, till like I read her story. I didn't know that they had like the whole, oh, you're not from my town, you're not from my state, so I, you can't get married to this person. No, that's, that's the lie. That's a lie. That's, no, no, that's not true because I know a lot of evil guys that, Somebody, eh? That's not evil. That's not an evil baby. Then, no matter how long it is, it's, it's only it's like few. I think it's like just one percent out of hundred that will like okay, I'm going to stand my ground. I'm going to get married to this person, even though she's not evil. No matter what my mom says, no matter what my father says, I'm going to get married to this person. But a lot of them that I have seen so far, 
If then I let them do it for like five to ten, in fact, I don't, I don't even care the ESM, they will always go back to the villages. You see, especially those times when they will go for this Christmas and New Year holiday and the rest, they would always go back and they would get one of their others from there. Yeah, you understand what I'm saying? So I didn't even know it was a thing not to like get married um, if you are not from the same state or anything at all. Okay, so this is my own opinion. We have um, we have a lot to unpack. This particular story, the summary of the story is somebody is in love with someone who, um, who the family does not approve of. I would say, and this is my own opinion, as the host of the show. Okay, I know that um, the rest of the members of our sh- the rest of members of our show may disagree. <laughs> okay, but my own opinion is this: is that I think you should do all, all that is best in your capacity to convince your parents. Okay, I will tell you that I think you should do all that you can in your capacity to convince your parents. If you are listening to this, the person will send this in. And the reason for that is because you are in Africa, marriage is largely between. Um, family members, okay, um, between families rather, and as much as possible, you most likely will need support systems. You cannot abandon people that have known you all your life for somebody that you just met and you dated for a couple of years, okay. If your culture, if that is your culture, find a way to convince your father and your mother. Have the person you are dating join you, meet with your parents, and uh, try their best to convince your parents okay it's not a good idea for you to abandon your parents particularly if you're the first daughter and say you want to get married without the without the blessings of your parents particularly if they are not terrible people if we know there are some parents who can be monsters but if if their parents who are caring and their issues on, on cultural grounds you may have to find a way to convince them one of the arguments that i would suggest you consider using is that probably you tell your parents and nobody chooses the family they are born into. Now, the same way that guy was born into um, a family from Imo State, there's every very likelihood that also, if their father and mother have been born into Imo, into a family that came from Imo State, you can't you can't change you can't go back to change the, where you are born in. So that's my hope. It's important get the just get get the blessings of your parents. Okay, don't run off you're going to need someone to come and do a no go you don't need people to and it's not a good idea when you fall into hard times and people are telling you that the reason why you had this difficulty was because you did not listen to your parents so convince them all right and you get your boyfriend to convince them and then when you have done that if that fails all right find people who are authorities in their families and try to convince them as well okay so We'll stop there. The comments. Some people have spoken on. Some people have comments. We have comments yes. on this. Okay, let's yeah. let's let's read it. Let's let's take a couple of the comments. Okay, Lois says she can't hear it. Lois, please check your audio. Then phone phone flash said, marry the guy and have your parents curse you or disown you. Some parents can't be over you. Okay, so I, I I would just say that because this is the decision really does not fall in your hands. The decision falls in the hands of the people who. It's largely a family decision. And we will not culture. And this is why we advise people on the show. If you, if you're getting involved with people before you go and spend three, four years dating someone, as much as possible, try to find out exactly what their culture looks like. Do you have other comments? Yeah, Tipsy Comfort said, um, as an evil lady, you need your parents' consent and prayers for the marriage to happen. She also said, but not all parents are easy to convince. For the part you said that trying to try and talk try and to your parents. Convince your parents, yeah. It's the first person. Some parents will stay over their dead bodies. You will never, you never see. We are not unaware, okay? We are not unaware of how difficult it can be to convince parents. We are not unaware. We are not, we are not hypocrites on the show. But you cannot enter into, you cannot get married and start your marriage, or start your own family, eh? not listening to the people who brought you into the world. Even if you are going, even if but there are reasons are, self, they are selfish now. It may, the reasons may appear selfish, all right. The reasons may appear selfish, but and that's why you have to show people that maybe I'm maybe I'm just old fashioned, okay. Maybe I'm old fashioned like that. They are not asking you. Your father is not asking. His father, his father is not asking him asking her to marry him from now. No, he's just saying that you can't marry this person because he's from this particular state. That's what he's saying. And it's and, not fair because she has been dating him ever since now. So imagine your parents just say, because this person is not from this particular state, you cannot be with it. And it's, it's hard to start over. 
it's hard to even like see somebody that doesn't want to get married to you again. It's very difficult, except if I have another candidate for her.